everybody welcome back to my channel today is tuesday january 9th and i am hopping on today to talk about grooming rabbits again um this is actually a topic that i'm going to hit pretty hard this year and the reason i'm going to do that um for one thing i'm getting a lot of questions about that um from new rabbit owners or wannabes and so i want to make sure that i'm touching base on that a lot and also the other thing is there's always trolls on here i talked about it a little bit back in december um and people just aren't well informed or they're only informed by um maybe one video or one entity that um, promotes this as an evil thing and i just want to continue to show you how sustainable and how humane um, raising angora rabbits for fiber can be. Um, that's one of the reasons why I have my channel is to teach and educate you guys on this. And so I wanna continue to do that this year. Um, some of these videos are gonna be redundant uh, just because I've done them before. Um, but again, I wanna keep touching base on this and getting these videos out there and um, making sure that people do know that there is a good way to do this and an easy way to do this. And um, yeah, so that is what we're going to talk about today. Um, before we jump into that, I want to talk about, just touch base on this one a little bit. Um, this is Nutmeg. She is a French Angora. She was born here at the farm. And um, I have a lot of questions on my colony rabbits and how they're doing and if I have any problems with them. Um, you know, weather wise and all the things. And I want to touch base. I am going to do a big video coming up here at the end of April, beginning of May. That will be about the one year mark that I've had my rabbits in, in a colony outdoors, but nutmeg is one of my outdoor rabbits. And so I just wanted to show you um, where she's at. I get a lot of questions about fiber and um, things like mites and things like that, uh, parasites. And I just wanted to show you how well she is doing out there. Um, she is one of two of my rabbits. I am hoping to expand that this year. Um, I have an omelet hutch for the two of them and it works out perfect. Uh, I would like to get, the area is quite large. You can go back to previous videos. I'll try to remember to link at least one of them here. Um, the area is large enough where I could put easily two or three more rabbits out there and I'm going to do that this spring. Um, I'm going to get, I've tried, uh, I've tried a different, um, less expensive type of um, a hutch, a little house. And I did a video on that and it does work, but some of my girls, as you can see, she's pretty big. And so the, the small house that I purchased from Amazon just fits one of these girls. And I, I like them to have a little bit more space. Um, the omelet hutches are a bit pricey, but in my opinion, from what I've seen from them so far, I have the rabbit hutch and I also now have a chicken, um, chicken hutch coop thing. Um, they are well worth the money. Um, they are designed, there is uh, water area inside the hutch there is a hay manger inside the hutch they are so well designed that i have no problems with locking these girls up at night um and not worrying about them overnight they have feed they have water and they do really well in there so um that's what i'm looking at doing is adding a, a second one to that area so that i can add two more girls in there and then, like I said, in May, I'm going to do a bigger video going out, um, things I would change, things we're going to change this year, actually, um, and why I think it works so well. As you can see, she she looks beautiful. She's full of fiber. Um, shockingly, you would think being out on the ground and things like that, she would be dirty and matty. And this is even, you know, like her belly area where a lot of them do get matty. You can see that she isn't matty. I think just being out and running around, um, I think, and you guys know I am, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm trying out a new mic, so if I hit it, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> I will try to keep my hands down. Um, you guys know that I am, I have told you before, I'm not always good at staying on a schedule with my rabbits. Um, I keep them groomed, and but I'm not 
as diligent maybe as I should be sometimes on that. Um, and so these guys tend to stay a little bit longer outdoors or not outdoors, but a little bit longer without a haircut or grooming. And um, in the summer, I am always diligent about trimming them down because of the heat. But over the winter time, I am not always great about giving, getting them in every single week like I like to. Usually it's once every two weeks or so. But she just isn't matted at all. She's got beautiful fiber. Um, so I wanted to show you that. And again, we'll jump into that more in May. But the reason we're here today is to talk about grooming. Um, I'm going to go over the tools I have again. I've done this many times before, but there are a lot of new people here. I want to show you what I use, how I do it, um, and talk a little bit about that and how to humanely and gently groom and grow rabbits. Um, there, are, there are commercial rabbit trees in the world. I really, truly have a hard time believing any of those places exist in the United States. I could be wrong. Um, there are evil people in the world that do rotten things. And I, I just, I have a hard time believing that um, the people that I know and the friends that I know that do this all do it the way I do it. And so you, this is, um, this is why I wanted to do this video, just to show you how to do it. And also a lot of the questions I've gotten lately um, are on my videos when I film like up above the rabbit grooming them and everybody's like, how do you get that rabbit to sit there? Well, I don't always, that doesn't always happen. I don't always have well-behaved rabbits. Um, I do have some and unfortunately I thought she would be a little bit wilier than she is right now um, because she is outside all the time. And, but she, she is back. She's actually um, my bunny that I take to a lot of shows and things like that and demonstrations. Um, she was born here. She was handled a lot. And she's a very sweet rabbit. But I thought maybe after spending the last nine months outside in, um, in the colony that she'd be a little bit more, you know, wild than what she is. But um, I wanted to show you how I go about grooming a rabbit that maybe doesn't want to sit for me and I'll continue to do like I said I'm going to continue to do these grooming videos because number one it's what I do a lot of the time and also I want to make sure that um, people are seeing this and knowing how it's done um, so what I would do a lot of times I do it out in my um, my barn I have a table set up um, it's actually a built-in it's like a gardening table I think she used to use it for and so I have my area set up with a rug on it, and that's typically um, where I groom my rabbits. Today we are getting uh, a huge snowstorm, so I'm not out there today. I decided to do this in the house and film it in the house um, because I wanted to show you what I do with the rabbits that aren't always wanting to sit and be groomed. Um, I have a towel in my lap. Um, I also, a lot of times, will wear an apron. I have a canvas apron. Um, I didn't put it on before I started filming, but I have one of these work aprons that works really well. Um, and I can get the fiber off it quite easily. It's like jean material. Um, fiber comes off that quite easily. Oh, and there's water on the floor from the dogs because we were just outside shoveling. Um, so that's what I have too. Um, and one of my non-grooming tools, but I wouldn't go, I would not not have this um is my lint brush this is just one of those old-fashioned um lint brushes i think you can still find them if not you can get it on amazon but it used to be you could get them and i've actually probably had this one for 10 or more years um i love this thing i've tried lots of different lint brushes i've tried some of the new roller br brushes that are like the jelly material that stick and then you rinse them off this is still my go-to favorite um, lint brush and it used to be you can buy it at Walmart in the laundry section. If not, like I said, you can get it on um, Amazon. Um, so I love this lint brush and it lasts forever. Um, there's a, you can feel when you're doing it the right way. There's two sides and each side you have to go the right way on in order to um, have it grab. But you can feel that. So that's one of my go-to tools. Um, my Fisker scissors, yes, they're sharp. 
No, I do not stab or hurt the rabbits with this. I go very slowly. There are lots of videos I have showing you how I exactly do this. Um, the reason I like these are the small handle and um, this jog in it. I like how it sets and I'm able to just go along here and very gently, um, gently do that. Um, I have a toenail clippers. They always get their toenails clipped when they're getting groomed. Like I told someone, this is like spa day here at the, the farm for the rabbits. That's really what it is. And then my go-to favorite um, comb is it's got, I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can see it. It's got the longer tines and then it's got the smaller tines inside. I love this comb. And when I have a rabbit that is a little bit out of sort or not wanting to sit for me, this is what I do. I put them in my lap and I just sit here gently um, and just comb them. This is how I get 80% of my fiber. In the summer, you know, I do shear them down and that's for the rabbit's comfort. Um, Angora is about seven times warmer than sheep. And um, so I do not, here in Michigan, we do get, um, we have hot summers here. And so I don't um, have all of my rabbits are pretty much shorn down from May until September. And so um, there, there's not a lot of grooming time in there. Um, I will take them out and clip their nails if I need to and check on them and things like that. But the grooming doesn't really happen as much in the summer because they are sheared down. And when I say sheared down, I mean, I clip them. Um, I separate their hair and just clip them as close to their body as I can. As you can see, she is being wonderful today sitting here. Um, and I've already got a comb full of hair. The other tool I use, um, not really a tool, I get jars and baskets from uh, Goodwill. Anytime I see one like this, this is one of my newer ones, I snag these. These are great for storage. This one has like a cork um, top. And um, I love these jars for storing the fiber in. And so I have quite a few of those. And so that is how I do it. Um, this kind of keeps the rabbit close to you this way. I think they get relaxed that way. Um, and so if I have 98% of the time, if I have a rabbit that's kind of in a mood and doesn't want to sit for me to groom, I can pretty much get them groomed just by doing this. Um, and so this is how I do it. I do one side, um, just like I am here, I'll flip her around, do the other side. I do the toes on this side, flipper, groomer, do the toes on the other side, um, check her over. She's doing great. Um, and this is how I get my crazy rabbits to sit for me while I'm grooming. So that is what I wanted to show you today and what I want to talk to you about. Um, if you have any more questions about this, please put them down below in the comment box. I would be glad to help you with anything you need. Um, in regards to questions or anything like that, I've been doing this for a really long time. And um, I love to help people and educate people when it comes to the rabbits. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button. It does help me out. And if you don't already, please subscribe. Um, I also have a giveaway going on over on Instagram right now. I want to keep telling people about so that nobody misses out. Um, if you go back a couple of um, a couple of my posts, you will see it. Uh, it has a bunch of um, items with rabbits and goats on it, and you can get signed up for that on Instagram. Um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and if you're in the middle of this big storm, I hope you're staying warm and safe, and I hope you have a fantastic day today. Bye.